My name is Derek Kinga. I'm the CTO at Taylor. Awesome. So can you tell me much more about what you guys are trying to do with this? Okay. Um, Taylor is, an, is a company that creates premium African furniture. We knew that Africans um, find it very difficult for furniture online. They have to go to a physical showroom that limited with options or set up for a roadside guy. We decided to create Taylor to solve that by um, bridging market. And we're using extended reality to kind of create experiences that people would want to have when they go to showrooms or questions they will have when shop furniture online. So we have an AR solution that allows our customers to try the products in their spaces before they buy them. So you have an idea of what this product will look like in your space, would it fit, if you have to consider your wife or your friend into it, if it makes sense. We also um, have a virtual showroom that allows our customers to experience our products in places where they are limited to space. So um, say you set up like this at SMW, we are limited to this um, 30 by 30 boot, but you can now experience more of our products using VR. So um, have a sense of all our products in different spaces. And that helps us save costs and help us expand more into different cities just using VR itself. Awesome. So can you tell me when have you guys you know, started doing this and how far has it been? Okay, we started developing um, extended reality last year, um, one year ago. We started with AR. So we, have a, we currently have a web AR solution. Then we moved into virtual reality um, in January. We started developing our virtual reality solutions. It's available publicly by the end of March. Then we started developing mobile AR also. So our mobile app is coming out by the end of, by the end of this month, by Saturday. So um, for Android and iOS devices, um, that will be launched on Saturday, yeah. Not a lot of Nigerians have virtual reality devices in their homes because number one, it's expensive, or they don't even know about it. So how are you guys, you know? Okay, so um, for us, it was a design problem. It was a, it was a case of it was a case of design. We wanted to expand to where our customers were, and we know we can't open showrooms like um, the bigger brands that go and rent spaces in different spaces and all. So we are the ones adopting VR to help our customers um, experience our products. So instead of going, so we just partner with other businesses have like two or three of our products in that setting, have um, our VR showroom, there's our experience center, and then drive traffic from our online community to those places to come and experience Taylor. So it's, you can easily now find Taylor on the island, find Taylor in Abuja, find, we're expanding to Accra and Nairobi. So it's for, for VR, it's the business use case for us. So, okay, let me get this straight now. What you guys have is, you have like a virtual reality showroom, but is it going to be in a physical space or I can access that virtual reality showroom from my house? Yes, um, it's going to be available on the Oculus Store. If you have a VR headset, yes, sure. But if not, we are going to be having um, locations, different locations. So like four in Lagos, four in Abuja, Accra, Nairobi, um, Cape Town, like that. <music> I'm trying to now get a sense of how do you think Nigerians will be able to adopt to this technology? Because what we're used to is just, oh, I want to buy a couch. I want to design my space. I need someone to do this for me. But you guys are doing something different. You're, you like, you know, you're using virtual reality. How has the, you know, the reactions been so far? Um, okay, um, a lot of people are excited about it first. They didn't even know it's possible. And I think particularly it's awesome for Nigeria because we have a lot of physical limitations. So say, for example, someone in the north has a lot of... Um, issues of traveling and you know you can get kidnapped, you can get robbed and all that but you can basically solve these problems from the comfort of your home or somewhere that's nearby using our, using our AR on our website. Um, it also solves the case of trust also. So there's this common thing in Nigeria where what I order versus what I got and stuff like that yeah. So by using VR and AR you're basically able to see exactly what you get, see exactly how it fits in your space even when you buy it. So it basically gives you a lot of power before you spend that money. And then you know when you're spending the money, you're actually getting well, exactly, what you, exactly what you want. So you can customize the product how you like, change the colors, change fabrics, and whatnot. Yeah.